welcome to patan sir chemistry class today we'll discuss relationship between kp kc and kx so first point is relationship between kp and kc for that let us consider one reaction between a plus b gives c plus d okay equilibrium constant for this uh, process of reaction is kp which is given as kp is equals to pc to the power c into pd to the power d divided by pa to the power a into pb to the power b okay at constant temperature okay now we know that from metal gas equation pi v is equals to n i r t now you can write this equation pi is equals to n i divided by v into r t so this n i divided by v is nothing but concentration you can write it as c i therefore this pi is equals to c i r t so for reactant a pa we can write it as ca into rt for reactant b pb is given as cb into rt then for c it is cc into rt and finally for d gas it is pd is equals to cd into rt okay i will substitute the values of the pressures into equilibrium constant equation therefore we get kp as kp is equals to you can write instead of pc as cc into rt to the power c into cd into rt to the power d divided by ca into rt divided, uh, to the power a and cb into rt to the power b okay so we we'll simplify it we'll take c terms concentration terms one side rt terms another side okay therefore you can write this equation as cc to the power c into c d to the power d or c a to the power a and c b to the power b into it is rt to the power c into rt to the power d divided by rt to the power a into rt to the power b now we can write this bracket as kc so finally kp is equals to kc into rt to the power c plus d minus a plus b or kp is equals to kc into rt to the power delta n set the equation number 1 and delta n is equals to c plus d minus a plus b so this equation number 1 is relationship between kp and kc okay let us go for the second part that is relationship between kp and kx for that we have to check the equation as p is equals to n r t or it is p by n is equals to r t divided by v so where you find r t divided by v you can write p by n okay now ideal gas equation for i component is p i v is equals to n i r t or you can write it as p i is equals to n i divided by v into r t or simplified p i is equals to n i into r t divided by v now instead of this r t divided by v you can write p by n so you can write this equation as p i is equals to n i into p by n or 
पी आई इज इक्वल टू एन आई डिवाइडेड बाय एन इनटू पी सो दिस एन इज टोटल नंबर ऑफ मोल्स एंड दिस एन आई इज मोल नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ वन कंपोनेंट therefore we can write this as pi is equal to xi into p this xi is mole fraction which is equal to ni divided by n so using this relationship you can find out pressure of reactant a b c and d therefore pa is equal to xa into p pb is equal to xb into p pc is equal to xc into p and pd is equal to xd into p therefore substitute the values into this equation kp as it is xc into p to the power c then xd into p to the power d divided by xa into p to the power a and x b into p to the power b so separate x terms p terms then this equation becomes x c into power c it is x d into power d divided by x a into power a into x b into the power uh, to the power b multiplied by it is p to the power c into p to the power d divided by p to the power a and p to the power b now instead of this bracket you can write as kx and p as p to the power c plus d minus a plus b or simply kp is equals to kx into p to the power delta n this delta n is it is c plus d minus a plus b so this equation number 2 is nothing but relationship between kp and kx okay thank you for watching